Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all well. My cup of tea. Uh, um, by the way, this is a really nice mug by a local Highland brand, Angus Grant Art. Highly recommend. Um, I'm just in from our dog walk. It's Sunday morning, so we're taking things a wee bit slow. I just went round the local trails today. Uh, we are lucky. We do live in the Scottish Highlands, so we live in a small village in the Cairngorms where you can just walk out and be surrounded by nature, which is really nice. Um, all the birds are singing this morning. It's a lovely day. I think spring might be kind of coming. <laughs> we don't really get spring in the Highlands, and we do get spring, but we get it a lot later, and it's just end of Feb now, so I am think we're probably being a bit optimistic. We will no doubt get more snow, but I'm taking it. It's a nice day. It's mild. And I saw a hare, which I love seeing. I love hares. They're so lovely. They've just got a great movement to them. I just really love watching them. Sky's great as well. Our dog, she's sleeping. You won't be able to... No. Can't really. Can you see her? Oh. <laughs> just about. Um, Sky's great. She ignores all wildlife. <laughs> she's she's not a chaser unless it's a ball. So she's she's having her her morning snooze. But I thought today, as it is a quite a nice morning, it's a bit hit and miss, cloudy wise. But we'll give it a give it a go. I thought we'd film a tiny home tour. You can kind of see quite a lot of it here. Sky's moving because I said her name. <laughs> Um, but I do get a lot of questions about it, so I thought it would be quite nice to give you an updated tour. I did start doing these on my Instagram um, when we started this build back in early 2021. Um, so you can look back and see the progress we've made. I should say it's still very much a work in progress. Some bits look quite finished. The kitchen's pretty there, um, but other bits like the bathroom are just not not finished yet so there is still elements of a building site so do do bear with us with that um but yeah to give a bit of context we decided me and my partner to build a tiny home mostly because we don't want to get a mortgage anytime soon if ever um we like the idea of living a slower pace of life and not having to work all the time to afford a mortgage and we just thought this seemed really really cool i've been a fan of tiny homes for a few years now i've been all over youtube watching watching all sorts of tours and just like this is the dream you know i don't need much space i'm i class myself as a minimalist i don't have a huge amount of stuff um and my partner is fairly minimal as well uh, he has more, he's an outdoor instructor, so he has quite a lot of kit. But other than that, you know, we were like, we don't need a lot of space. Um, let's just do it. And um, when I say we built this, I do mean I, <laughs> my partner built most of it. I, you know, I, I did pick up a drill now and then, now and again, but um, I do not have building skills really so uh, my partner although he has never built a tiny home or home in general is very handy um uh, he's a mechanic and he's built things his entire life and he just thought he could do it so we did um so yeah uh today i thought we'd give you an in progress tour and show you around a wee bit so i thought i'd come outside and show you what the house looks like from the outside um, we're currently in my partner's family's garden uh, this is where we built it and um, we didn't have any space ourselves. and it's actually quite a nice wee spot to start living in it so we're we're starting to live here now um, excuse the rope that is my partner's way very health and safety conscious way of getting onto the roof <laughs> his climbing skills coming in handy um, as you can see, it's on a trailer. So we got this trailer from Tiny Eco Homes. It's specifically manufactured to build tiny homes on it. So it was a wee bit more expensive, but as it was gonna be the foundation of our home, we thought that's quite important and it made the build a lot easier. Um, 
so in terms of cladding we've got our, our wooden cladding and metal cladding we thought that was quite a nice mix um, so you can see along the side there that's got a mix of both and then on this side it's just the metal cladding again the cladding was quite expensive um, but we wanted to make sure it was going to properly protect our house um, so in terms of how we get in we got our French doors yeah. which we love we love the colour of all the all the windows and doors it kind of matches our metal cladding there um, we don't have a step so this is our current step <laughs> so I'll show you inside and there's Sky <laughs> wondering what is going on so here we are so this is what we get to when you first step inside the door this is our living space which is essentially just a sofa for now with our lovely throw that's actually made from recycled bottles which is really cool on this side we have this is our shoe rack but also can be used for a little bit of extra seating if needs be somebody can perch there i'll uh, take you through to the kitchen first of all so this is our lovely kitchen we really wanted lots of shelves again i say we and it's probably <laughs> mostly me um, I really like open storage I really like lots of jars um, and it's just a we you know we have the wall space so a really good way of using our space when it comes to storing our food I like to cook a lot so that's the thing that I have more of food <laughs> essentially so all of the cupboards were custom built for the space so that took my partner a long time to do um, but he did really really well they're painted in an olive green which i really really like this was inspired <laughs> by pinterest um i just really think green kitchens or green in general seem to be a thing at the moment so we definitely lent into that we've got our sink uh plumbed in now well we've got our cold water tap plumbed in anyway um, we've not got a hot water heater yet so it's just just on cold water at the moment we are using the main house for bathroom basically you know to shower and and stuff like that and oh my lovely again custom built spice rack there we really like this wax um around the windows this is the same all through the house so i'll show you the ceiling in a minute and that's that's the wax we've gone for it's a really warming feel we've got our gas hob we haven't got an oven yet so we will get a gas oven but a very small most microwave size gas oven again we're just using the main house at the moment we've still got to build a door for this kind of awkward space here that's where the gas currently lives it will live outside when we get a bigger gas bottle and then we've got our shelves all our lovely shelves along here so pretty much all done i love these hooks i got these from etsy i'll uh, i'll link below i can't remember what the etsy shop was um but i'm a big fan of mugs i say i'm a minimalist but when it comes to mugs i'm a little bit more i like to, i like to have some choices so we'll go through to the bathroom first but yeah with the stairs i should say so we've got one step this is our guest loft slash office up there so i'll show you that in a minute and then this is our our sleeping loft in here and in all of the stairs there is storage and that is a great way and a very common way of getting storage into tiny homes at one point we were going to do a landing to link these um that was an initial idea we saw another tiny home but in that home it was a lot bigger the trailer was a lot bigger a lot wider and we thought it would just actually encroach on the space and this way we've got like a lovely got our window up there and just a blank wall behind so you've got a lot of headspace up here you'll see the ceiling there and that's our lovely light and this is where all the headspace is whereas when you go into the the kitchen it drops down 
um, but you've got all, all your headspace in the living space. I should also have said our lovely bookshelves. But anyway, I will show you our bathroom. So this door is custom built as well. It's really nice, kind of a, a farmhousey style door, I think. Again, the same wax colour. We like the mix of the modern open space with more of a cottagey feel. So we do like the handle. It's a bit of a squeaky door. <laughs> so we actually have our coats in here currently. This is an easy way to store them and keep them away. And it's a little bit of a dumping space in here. So that's <laughs> bizarrely my partner's skis in that bag. We've got a lovely big window in here. We've got, again, the same wax color on the ceiling. This was kind of Scandi inspired, like almost sauna-ish. So you can't really tell on camera, but what Terry, my partner, did is he, he put a bit of black plastic basically on, on the top and then he put the wood on. So it has the black just peeking through and it just was uh, a little bit different, a little bit more stylish. We have the same lights all through the house. Um, and then the whole room is wet walled. So it's like a slate effect wet room. And then we have the floor, which is uh, tiles, but it kind of looks like our, our flooring here. So this is laminate and this is tiling and they've just gone all through to make it a continuous feel. And then this is gonna be our shower. That does work now, it is plumbed in. Again, no hot water, um, so we haven't used it yet, but we really liked the black matching. It's a little bit more, it's more of a masculine bathroom. This was definitely more my partner's room. I was very much focused on the kitchen. And then we just got our wee towel rack in there. The idea will be we'll get a composting toilet, which will live here. This is our old, so I used to live in a caravan for a couple of years, and this was our old washing machine. and. It's not really working that well now, so I think I am just going to get rid of it because we're currently just using the washing machine in the house. But this is where our toilet will go. And this will be where our sink and vanity area will go. Probably get a mirror here, probably a couple of shelves. We don't have much bathroom stuff, so it's actually quite a nice size bathroom. Um, it really doesn't feel pokey at all. So we're both quite small as well. <laughs> I'm 5'5", five five my partner's 5'8", uh, or something. He'll kill me if I've got that wrong. Um, so we'll go up to our loft now. We painted this recently. Um, it was white like the rest of the house, but we painted it this forest green color just to make it a bit cozier. And what we've done here with the walkway, you can walk in. So we've lowered this section of the ceiling so you can walk and stand upright all the way to the other end and then you lift up and go onto the loft. We saw that again as a YouTube tiny home tour. I thought that was really cool. Uh, this is very much more work in progress. So we're gonna have cupboards all along here. Currently clothes are just stored in, in baskets. So that's gonna be all built in and I've just left that white uh, to be behind the cupboards. And then you have our wee loft space, which still needs a lot of work. Um, finishing off the painting, the bedding is being changed, all this, all these details that only I care about. I like the burnt orange, this is actually butterscotch colour I think, with the green, but I haven't got around to changing the other sheets yet. They're going to be more of an oatmeal colour at some point, but no rush, you know, it's not, not essential. But we've got our window in here as well, which is really nice, be really useful in the summer because it will get pretty warm I'm guessing it gets really warm up here um, the heat rises so you can see across from me is the office so we'll go over there I should say my partner is an outdoor instructor but he's also an artist so this is some of his artwork that sky it was one of his earliest pieces it's really cute and this room again is actually very newly started having having some renovation work in here. This is another one of his, his pieces. So this box looks a bit bizarre, but the idea is almost like a compact office space. <laughs> I shan't open it because I'm pretty sure his laptop's in there and I don't want it to fly out. But basically the idea is you lower this, you can keep stuff in it, you lower it, and then you can put your laptop on it. And then this is being cut in 
as a seat. Currently using his daughter's <laughs> pink bean bag um, as a backrest for it, but we might make more of a seat out of it. And then this is, yeah, our spare bed for, again, his daughter when she's up or any any guests. And again, we've got, got a window, but there's still quite a lot to do in here. We need to repaint the whole whole room and the floor's not, not fully done yet, but it's it's getting there. And this is a eagle-eyed view of the house here. Um, we kept this, uh, you can see we built in that entirely, but we kept this one open. And the reason being, we thought it was quite nice to have a bit of variety if you're in here working, you don't necessarily want to feel boxed in. Whereas if you're sleeping, you kind of want to feel a bit cosier and a bit quieter. But that's uh, that's about it. Thank you for joining me on our tiny home tour. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you want some more tiny home content, I do have a few blog posts about it on my blog, also called Hippie Hide and Living, and I'll be featuring it a lot more on this YouTube channel, including, you know, any more building renovation work we're doing and maybe even do a specific video on answering some of your questions because I know a lot of you have questions about the build and tiny home living. So I'll make sure to do, do that. And if you have any questions, do pop them in below um, and I can and keep them saved up and try and answer them at some point. Um, but yeah, that's about it for me today. If you did enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate any likes and subscribe if you want to see more tiny home living, hide and living content. And I will see you guys next time.